The CPU has all of these pins, which is the first step of connecting this to the chassis of your car. Without that chassis, the engine doesn't really go anywhere. But once you connect it and you have all of these slots that the engine can plug into, now all of a sudden your computer can perform a whole bunch of different functions. For example, at the top left, we have memory or random access memory, where your computer kind of just dumps all of its temporary storage. We've got a power adapter to power the whole thing, got a whole bunch of USB buses, some SATA ports for connecting hard drives, that's, that's for long-term storage. And we've even got some M2 slots hidden in the middle of the board there, which allows us to connect to those NVMe drives for even faster long-term storage. And of course you have all the usual in and out ports. So you can see just how important a motherboard is as one of the key elements in your PC build.